So for our business, demand has been about the same. We were seeing new ground up commercial office space, San Carlos to South San Francisco. Most of the projects we look at are for life science companies. And I think that's a trend that's going to remain as long as the pandemic is relevant in our lives. We've got a big mobile fleet. And so when Granite Rock shows up on a site, there's diesel that's going to get burned. And that carries over into our bid. And we're not the only trade that's being affected. Owners are in a very tight spot right now. Fortunately, it seems like that the demand for building is similar for the past two years. So not a, not a drastic change, but it's also something we have to monitor and understand that owners may decide to postpone a project. If those external factors are proving now's not the right time to build. We see something typical for this time of year that Caltrans goes on a lull because it's the end of one fiscal year, July 1st is the start of a new fiscal year. All indications are that they have lots of work to bid in the second half of 2022 for District 4 and District 5. Cities and counties, public agencies still appear to have lots of work on the books that they expect to advertise soon. So it looks like the year will continue to be quite busy. 2023, we've still got the funding in place to build projects. We know that there's still need for infrastructure repairs everywhere. All the work that we bid in the second half of 2022, for the most part, will build in 2023. So we hope to have a very strong start to building work in 2023. And all indications are there's still lots of projects to build. We finally were able to get the big federal policy with the current administration's agenda separated between hard infrastructure and soft infrastructure. And that was a lot of work by our industry, by members of all of our member companies, by executives within Granite Rock and others engaging with their congressional offices. Now, that got passed months ago. So where's the money? That money doesn't get programmed until our next fiscal year. So we're gonna be looking at solid budgets. Now there is a caveat, I'll say, as we look at our environmental consciousness, as we look at uh, social justice, we know that some of those revenues that typically would all go into hard infrastructure are gonna get brought into other packages dealing with these other social issues and environmental issues that need to be faced in California that are and is. It's not debatable, it's happening, right? That's our culture. So we're gonna see that pulled out, but that's gonna happen at a time when we're seeing robust funding uh, at a level we haven't seen before. SB1 and the federal funding is what's fueling the increase in work that we're seeing. We try to be efficient with our equipment use and our trucking use and so forth. Really, the impact is just making sure that we've got the correct costs in our estimate. Now, we also see those increased fuel costs reflected through material price increases for things like pipe. We really see it for things like hot mix asphalt because there's a big oil component there. Uh, yeah, there's no shortage of demand for sure. We ask for an opportunity to earn someone's business, and it's really, really hard to do. But it's also really, really easy to lose if you're not careful. I really feel like it's it's still a people's business when I look at how our teams collaborate with our customers, how our estimators have to work really hard to earn the business, and how they have to work really hard to maintain the relationship. It truly is a people business. And if we perform well as a team, then our customers will be happy as we go forward in continuing to do the things our companies do every day, provide, for instance, for granite rock, rock, sand and gravel, right, asphalt. I think we can anticipate that that market is solid. Might be some ups and downs, certainly will be some downs, you know, in the short term with the gas prices and with inflation and with the anticipated burst of the retail bubble or the housing bubble or whichever bubble, but we'll be in a good place to withstand it.